Happy Monday, guys. Today I have a glow up challenge and a glow up routine and plan all written out for you and me to follow. Lately, guys, I have been not on my grind, maybe on my like work grind and school grind, but I have not been taking care of myself the way I should be. I've been kind of lazy. I've been letting myself eat certain things that I should not be eating and it's adding up and I'm not feeling very confident in the way I look. At. And I've been looking at like old photos of myself and I've been like, oh my God, I want to go back to that. I felt the most healthy back then and I really want to go back to that. So I decided to make this little twist on on the 75 hard challenge and call it the renew challenge because it has my name in it and i'm a very conceited person so get it it's like renew because it has my name in it but it's the renew challenge i think this is a more fun version too of the 75 hard and it has a little bit of like extra things that are not on the 75 hard i want to add in that this workout challenge is friendly for the girls that cannot access a gym i will have um ways that you can go about this challenge if you don't want to go to the gym or if you just can't go to the gym if you don't have a car like me luckily my gym is walking distance but i know a lot of people don't have that luxury okay so so the first thing on my list is work out twice a day and must do 20 plus minutes of cardio when my body was absolutely t when i tell you like i'm about to insert some photos guys because woo, my body was amazing okay like I looked skinny petite and it looked great on my frame. I'm 5'1", guys, so when I gain any type of weight, it looks like a lot more than it is. So I feel the best when I look like that. And I had so much more energy, I was so confident, and like my skin was feeling amazing. Just like I felt so good about myself. And so what I did back then was I was working out twice a day. I was doing some type of cardio in the morning time, and then I was doing a very like intense weightlifting workout later in the day so i really highly recommend doing five days of working out if you can at the gym if you can't go to the gym really add in cardio and then do calisthenics i don't know if you guys know what calisthenics calisthenics is that the word calisthenics but calisthenics is body weight exercises so that's things like push-ups pull-ups or like planks anything like that is calisthenics um handstands just anything that's gonna like use your weight but you can do things for like your booty that will also involve weightlifting next thing on my list is waist train five plus hours a day so everybody has mixed reviews and opinions on waist training but for me personally that was the shit okay i used to have a 28 inch waist that's not big but for my body shape, and since I have I have a narrow body shape, everybody thinks I'm shaped like a Coke bottle, but my natural shape is more like higher up, like my shoulders are more wider, my waist kind of is smaller, but it doesn't go in, it's more just like this. And then my hips are not as big as they appear to be, but weightlifting really helped with my hips. So waist training really did help just suck it in and it helped with my posture, like I had really bad posture guys, so it helped with my posture. Um, it helped with the eating, like overeating. It will kind of suppress your appetite, especially if you're known for like binging a lot or overeating or snacking a lot. Snacking is what gets everybody because you'll be eating a bag of chips and not realize that that's like 600 calories right there. That's like a whole meal. So waist training really helped with getting rid of any type of cravings like that. And I haven't been on my Zoom with that just because I've been wanting to wear like cuter clothes. But the thing with waist training is you do have to wear clothes that can look good with a waist trainer. So that's either like a bigger t-shirt or like a hoodie. Or if you want everybody to know you're wearing a waist trainer, you can do that. But sometimes when you get a little waist trainer and you're still like losing the weight or whatever, it can make the skin on your back fold over and no one fucking talks about that. And it's annoying, guys. Like it's literally irritating, okay? So waist train five plus hours a day, that snatched my body. And don't play with it. Work out while waist training, but don't do your ab workouts while waist training because it can kind of ruin the muscle there. So you want to be using all the muscle you can when you're doing your, your ab workouts. But waist training, don't play. Next thing on my list is staying away from sodium. Sodium is what makes you bloated, guys, because it just sucks up all the water and... I don't know the exact science behind it, but 
just know sodium makes you bloated. And when I was not eating as much sodium and consuming as much sodium, I was snatched, okay? My face was snatched, my skin was snatched, salt breaks you out, just, 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 you know, just, you know, salt will break you out. So staying away from sodium really helped me, and I need to get back onto that because I have been door dashing so much fucking food, guys. Clap if you've ever been to a fat farm. <laughs> a few of you fatties. And I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. I think I just got lazy and I don't want to cook, but that's one of the things on my list is no eating out because eating out and especially the American portions, guys, are massive and they make us think it's healthy. Like, you know that big back challenge on TikTok where they're like, my big back ass, like going to get Chipotle for the fifth time this week. Like, Chipotle has a ton of salt, has a ton of stuff like that in their foods and it's it's not healthy especially like the portions that they give you it's so much food guys and we do not need to consume that much so i'm gonna just stay away from all of that and it will save me money so i can spend it on things like clothes makeup perfume and just getting hot that's all that matters staying away from added sugar is the next thing on my list this is like the secret killer guys added sugar is in everything everything the things that you think are healthy everything like your juices like and that's another thing i need to add in because i made a video about making like my juicing routine a lot of you guys have, were like going out and getting like the cheaper versions of the juices that i drink and they have added sugar in it like kombucha like some kombuchas have added sugar in it to make it taste better but you guys need to be like you guys got to take it like a champ and drink that disgusting juice without the added sugar because added sugar is what's just ruining the whole point of juicing and doing all that stuff so it's fine to have natural sugars like fruits honey all of that but even like try to not do as much of that either okay but added sugars cut it out just cut it out don't don't have it at least for me i have been good about not having any added sugars in my home i don't have any sugar in my home actually i just have honey that's it but i eat out and all the food when you eat out has sugar in it, okay? They're putting like a pound of sugar. I swear to God, that's what makes it taste so good. But we need to stop having that, guys, because that is what is adding inches to your waist, and that is what's making you bloated. That's what's making you constantly crave sugar and just get you off your whole path of getting snatched for the summertime. The next thing kind of only applies to me because I do go out frequently. If this doesn't apply to you, just completely ignore it. But staying away from okay we all love a good tequila moment okay i don't know if i'm allowed to say that on here but yeah for me i like i like to drink okay so when i go out i will either have wine or i'll have shots and i have been much better about drinking like i used to drink way too much and that's just because i couldn't handle my liquor but now when i do go out i do drink a normal amount but it does like it gets you off your track guys like let's talk about it sunday scaries is a real thing a night after like of the morning after drinking you're not doing anything you're not on your zoom you want to rot in your bed you don't want to do anything you want to just order food like let's talk about when you get home from the club and all you want is like as much fast food as you can get you just want some oily fries with a bunch of salt on it and i don't know why we crave it so bad but the alcohol is another secret killer so we're going to stay away from that. And I have been good about that because I went out last weekend, no, two weekends ago. And then before that, I didn't go out for literally like two months. I know that's like, you know, that's not that long, but for me it is because I go out like every weekend. But yeah, and we're going to have to test it out this weekend because I'm going to a club this weekend for my friend's birthday party. So I'm going to see if I can stay true to this fucking plan because I, I like to drink. That's all I'm going to say. I like to drink when I go out with my friends. And it's going to be real annoying because you want to get lit with everybody else, but you can't. But the summer body is a serious thing and I am going to take it serious. The next thing on my list is drinking a gallon of water. So I'm pretty good about drinking water. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've been able to get away with eating like absolute shit. And my skin not breaking out is one, my skincare routine. And I'm so on top of my drinking, like my water, my juices, all of that, that my skin's fine no matter how much shit I put into my body. Really, really drink a bunch of water. Um, if you have a Stanley cup or if you have any of these water bottles, drink four, okay? It's going to be a lot. You're going to pee a lot. 
but just think about how clean you're gonna feel like i don't know what you guys but I feel so clean when I drink so much water. And that's also going to help with like cravings. The more water you drink, half the time, we're not hungry. We're just thirsty and we're not consuming enough water. So please, please, please drink more water. This one is super random and doesn't make any sense. But listening to subliminals. That is a secret that I've kept for years. But they work. I don't care if people call me delusional. I don't care if people think, oh my God, they don't work. It's just your mind. It's whatever. But listening to subliminals, ugh, sublim subliminals work like crazy. Okay, listening to the ones about like the good, like good um good luck syndrome ones, like is it good, good luck syndrome? Is that what it's called? Good luck syndrome. Um, the beauty subliminals they all work you just have to be consistent so i'm trying to listen to subliminals every night to sleep like don't play my best friend and i we both listen to subliminals and she's more on top of it than i am and she living good she her body's tea she gets her money and she's doing amazing and i really think it's because of sublim subl subliminals <laughs> i can't even say that word but yeah i'm going to make a playlist of the ones that i've listened to and that have worked for me and i'll make it public for you guys to listen to too because i don't geek you we're gonna all get hot together okay last one and this might not work for everybody because depending on where they live but i'm really gonna start trying to walk more so i have 10k steps a day on my list and that is one thing that i'm going to be posting especially on my tiktok and i believe on my instagram as much as i can but i live in a cute little town and everything's walking distance so i'm gonna just try to walk daily take cute little walks maybe before um i go to school or before i go to bed like later in the day like six o'clock but just getting the 10k steps in a day and it's so warm out now it's sunny it feels good all you need is a little jacket and i heard that this is like the top thing that gets your body right i have not done that before i just walk normally but i heard specifically 10k steps like get those steps in and I mean, I was already walking a lot because my school is like um, like half, like a mile and a half or two miles away from me. So I already walk like three miles a day just to get to class into the gym. But I feel like I could do it more. And especially if I stop eating out so much, that's like my huge thing is my eating. Ugh. So hard, guys. So hard. But I have to say bye-bye to DoorDash because... It's killing me. That is all of the things on my challenge. I hope that you guys are also going to be doing this challenge with me and staying tuned with my plan and seeing if it really works. I'm going to talk about my measurements right now. I don't know how much of you can see me on this camera, but right now my, I'm a little bold. I'm wearing like a, a bodysuit, but my waist, I believe is like a 24, 25 right now. And my hips, I believe, probably like a 30, 30, 31. I don't know the exact measurements. And last time I weighed myself, that was in the morning though. And I was like 114, 115. But I have a feeling I'm like 117 right now. And that is on the heavier side of my weight, guys. I like to keep myself below 115. Like I prefer to be below 115. And my goal for the end of this challenge is to be at least 110. 105 if we can get to 105 because that's how much i was last may 105 mm, 105 plus your like physique being tight and just so good but that's my goal that should not be your goal depending on your height i'm 5'1 and being 105 is completely healthy for my height and yeah so we're gonna try to stick to this plan hopefully that works for you guys hopefully we can stay on track guys we all need to help each other out. I don't know if I should make some type of group chat. Let me know um, in the comments if I should make like a Discord group chat or Instagram group chat on like like keeping each other like motivated because I really want to stick to this guys because I can't keep living like this. I can't. I can't. I know like my friend um, my friend Mia, she's going to be doing this with me and we're going to be keeping each other accountable. But this is a huge part of doing this challenge is having someone to keep you accountable because we will let ourselves slack and 
I feel like this will help us feel better about ourselves. We'll feel more confident. We're going to feel great that we were able to do a challenge and just have a lot more respect with ourselves. And that's a huge thing with confidence is giving yourself a reason to be confident. Like doing something that is admirable at admirable, admirable. I can't, I can't talk right now, guys. It's like 3 a.m. But giving yourself something to be proud of, and that really makes you confident, guys. And that is the whole point of the Renew Challenge, is to give yourself a reason to be proud of yourself. So I hope this video helped. I cannot wait to show you guys my results. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if I should make that group chat to hold everybody accountable. And we can help each other out. We can give each other tips. We can encourage each other because we're all going to get hot this summer, okay? And we can give each other little links to supplementals that we like that could even be better. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I hope this video helped. And thank you so much for watching this entire thing. And I will see you guys Wednesday. Bye-bye.